know, looking at video and stuff like that, how did you, uh, what did you really see that you guys like besides the win? So yeah, I, I thought we we eliminated their counters well. Um, we eliminated some of their good players really well. Um, I think Fernandez is a really good player, and he didn't have much. So that's 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 not because he had an off game. I think that's more because we just had a, had, a, had a good game in terms of uh, playing against him. And I think they had a, a ton of crosses, which is probably not their strength. You know, they're they're a transition team, so uh, so we were able to eliminate one of their strengths. So those are all good things. And then obviously grinding out a result is a positive. Uh, when when things get tough, can you bend but not break? Um, something that we that used to be a strength of ours, and then it was nice to see that. Gustav had mentioned, you know, the uh, confidence coming back for, with that game. Can you see that out in training today too, like a, or this week, outside of your bad training? <laughs> um, yeah, of course, games like that give you confidence. Um, um, we, we need to be able to translate that into uh, to the next game against LA. Huge, huge game. Obviously. Uh, um, six-point game right there so um, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a slice of confidence um, and you can't find it uh, in, a, in a derby match um, raising a trophy at, at your uh, rivals home then uh, I don't know where else to, to, to look for uh, for confidence so uh, hopefully we can take some of that and uh, and really be on the four uh, on the forefoot uh, and, and take it to LA since we're at home. Were you able to watch the LAFC Galaxy game on Sunday night? And what did you think of it? If you did, uh, I just saw some of the highlights. Had some uh, some charity events that we were doing. So, uh, but uh, good energy, obviously. Uh, um, two teams that uh, I think you, you're seeing that rivalry grow there as well into into something meaningful, which is good. Um, maybe uh, ran out of steam a little bit at the end. Um, um, so, but but, but obviously. We're well aware of the dangers that both sides bring, but for us in particular, LA Galaxy. So um, we just played against them recently. So um, I mean, everything runs through Zlatan. Everybody knows that. It's uh, I think it's it's more a matter of uh, maybe cutting off the service to him uh, rather than defending him well. Because uh, yes, you can defend him well uh, eight out of ten times, and the other two times will punish you. So um, uh, can we maybe limit the service to him, especially in the air? Um, those are things we'll have to do well this weekend. For sure, and I think as casual fans, you get the end-to-end -end games where both teams are scoring a bunch of goals right away, and everybody sort of loves that typically. As a goalkeeper, does it ever sort of make you cringe when you see a game like that? Do you think that your position impacts how you watch other games, or are you able to turn off that part of your brain? I don't know if any player really enjoys that kind of game. It's a lot of unpredictable craziness yeah. uh, going back and forth and, and, and no team really establishing a, a control um, you want to score your goal and then establish control have the opponent chase the ball you don't want it to be a free-for-all turn and track meet and see who finishes their chances I don't think anybody really uh, wants that except for strikers um, the likes of Zlatan of, of Raul Ruiz Diaz they probably enjoy that because that means they're gonna get free looks they're going to get uh, defenders that are probably out of shape. Um, those are the things that, that they want and they probably get out of a game like that. So, uh, But everybody else on the field, I don't think it's beneficial to them. And when you get this late in the year and you watch two teams that are also above the playoff line, do you start sizing them up as potential playoff matchups or is that a little bit premature at this point? Uh, we got to get into the playoffs first and foremost. And, and the West is so tight. And, uh, and obviously this year the, the playoff format has changed. So. Uh, Regardless, uh, you, you want to end up as high as possible. You know, maybe back in the day it was okay. Uh, on the last day, um, we would prefer playing this team home in a way. Um, now you just want to play at home if possible. So, yeah. And for that to happen, you need to have the most most points you can get, and uh, that's ultimately the goal. But uh, it would be nice to get home games. Uh, obviously, I think it makes a big difference. But but let's be real. I think the West is so tight. You have to get make it into the playoffs first and foremost. How do you look back at the uh, LA Galaxy game? Y'all's? Um, missed opportunity. Uh, 85 minutes of, of up a man. Um, and then to sneak out a, a, a draw with an own goal is, is a bit fortunate on our end. So uh, maybe not one we want to look back to too much. Maybe just uh, in, in terms of how we, what we need to do better um, defensively. Uh, like I said, maybe maybe limit the service to Zlatan a little bit better. Um, because, uh, you know, float it. I feel like at this point, it's the service to him doesn't even have to be that good. Um, 
he's gonna he's gonna win most balls. So can we just limit that service? Can we really pressure that service and make them maybe kick it out of bounds or maybe close to me or or, or too far away from goal? Just uh, really work on that. But um, other than that, I think we'll focus more on the Portland game and, and all the, the positives we can take from that. Does he impress you at all, Slato? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, you know he's. He's not the spring chicken anymore, but I think he's taking care of his body. You know, he's a, he's a he's a true, true professional. I mean, if you look at his uh, not just his size, but also how fit he is and uh, how professional he is. You know, I mean, noticing things like uh, I think he's he's their zonal guy on um, on on their defensive corner kicks, and uh, obviously he's a long ways away. Um, but but the moment uh, I noticed the moment that uh, that we got our corner, he would sprint back. I uh, know. No dilly dallying. No, ah, I'm too lazy or I'm too I'm too good for this. But but very very professional. And obviously that's in part why he's had such an amazing career because um, he he knows what it takes. Um, very confident in himself and and has obviously that special ability. So a good player overall, and that's why he's been able to have such a good career. That's why he's dangerous against us this weekend, and uh, so I have to be mindful.